This is the microavionics tail beacon, which I purchased from Aircraft Spruce. And I tried to install that yesterday in a uh, BE-55 Baron. And um, I tested it out using a car battery and I was able to successfully um, program it with the, the app. Um, I did run into a couple of problems with the installation. Um, the first one being um, the mounting uh, plate here. You can see, if I take this apart, this is the mounting plate that comes with the unit. And right there, okay, it comes off like such. And the, the first problem was that the, the screws, the mounting plate screws were the wrong size uh, for my airplane. This is the screw that came out of the airplane. This has a um, kind of a square head to it. Um, and that's a number um, six screw. This one is the screw that came with the, uh, with the tail beacon right here. That's a number four screw. So I had to go to a larger screw. Um, this, is, this is another number six screw uh, that uh, I provided. Um, so the screw was too small. Um, for my airplane, so um, turned out this had to be uh, drilled out. So I um, took this, I can get this screw out of here. Um, just walk across to the other room here. So what I had to do was to drill this out and actually counter bore it um, because um, the it's actually a very tight fit. Uh, the the, <coughs> the uh, tail beacon uh, fits in here very tightly. So I, I use this uh, drill press here to uh, counterbore it. After, after I had drilled it with a standard drill, um, I used this uh, counterbore, and you can buy them at Lowe's. Um, just a simple counterbore tool that looks something like that. Um, but that's what had to be done because the, the, fit, was, the, the, um, the fit was so tight um, that um, it had to be um, drilled and counterbored. And I'll show you what it looks like now. Well, you, you saw it already attached. Um, so that was the first problem. The second problem was actually a problem with my airplane. The, the wiring was backwards. Um, and I'll show you, uh, this is the, the tail light that came with the airplane that I removed. <coughs> um, and here's the cable that I, that I snipped. Um, and actually, um, you can see, strangely, they, they, they used a, a coax type uh, wire for the light. <clears throat> I don't know why you would need coax, maybe for a strobe, but not for, not for a DC tail light. Um, and actually when I went to hook it up, it didn't work. And, the, and we found out when I put the meter on there that the, um, the problem was the hot side is actually the ground of this coax. So the aircraft needs to be, um, rewired. You need, you know, need to replace that wiring. I guess temporarily I could, if I wanted to, I could, um, you know, use that, that as a positive side as it was and just kind of put some tape on there so it doesn't short out. But the, the, the back of the airplane is actually a um, fiberglass um, tail cone. <clears throat> so there's no danger of this thing shorting out to anything in the back of the airplane. So that's pretty much it. I think it's pretty much ready to go back in the airplane. It fits in there nice and snugly. I can show you uh, again, once again. Uh, I'm going to put that through there. Uh, through there. Just a lot. Get that in there real good. You can see... There we go, like, just like that. It's, it's nice and snug. And the problem was with um, without um, counter boring those those holes, what happened was the, the heads of the, these flathead screws uh, stick up too high, and I was not able to um, to put this together. That's pretty pretty much it.